Hello, my name is Devanshu Singh and in this video I will be demonstrating the text to Indian Sign Language Conversion System that is outcome of the ongoing research at Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology. Before I explain how the system works, let's look at a simple demo. So here is the UI. So in the example pane there are some examples that you can directly play. So let's play this one I'm sorry and let's play this one how are you apart from just the examples that are already given here you can also give English input so let's play something from here So it just played hello. So the aim of the project is to uh, make the text based information more accessible to the deaf community. Uh, you can visit the project URL and currently our team size is 7 and you can get more details about the team by visiting this URL. My role and team is to implement the prototype based on the research done by the team and lately I have been involved in implementation of the Avatar API. So this system can be used in deaf schools at public places such as railway stations, post offices to make announcements or by anyone who wishes to learn sign language. So let's see how a gesture or a sign is represented within the system. So corresponding to every English word we have a sign language equivalent or a gesture that represents that word in the sign language. For example let us consider the English word to. Now the gesture or the sign language equivalent for the English word to is showing the two fingers representing the numeric to. Now this gesture is uh, represented in textual form using something called hamnosis. Hamnosis stands for Hamburg Sign Language Notation System. It was developed at University of Hamburg. So gesture equivalent of a 2 in hamnosis uh, looks something like this. Now this hypnosis is converted into signal. Signal stands for signing gesture markup language. Basically it's just an XML file representing what are the gestures that will be the part of this sign. Based upon this signal or this XML file the rendering of the animation frames is done which is later played by the avatar. So let's look at the system architecture. At the back end uh, we have an admin panel so this is the admin uh, panel dashboard. Uh, we, we have various tools here and one of the most important tool is the word manager. So in word manager we can add new word or we can search for existing words. So for example if we look at the word 2 that we already saw as an example. So if we click it we can see that uh, it, it provides us uh, with various information such as what is the word id in the database, uh, what is the word, what is the hypnosis for it, what is the Hindi translation of the word and uh, currently the word is logged by logged means it has been verified by a sign expert so if we unlock it then we get uh, the facility to edit the hypnosis from here and we have a built-in hypnosis keyboard which allows us to edit hypnosis right from here as of now this is totally correct we don't want to edit it so let's uh, lock the word again. So 
in the back end admin uh, users who are generally sign language experts add uh, words to the database and create their hypnosis and based on these hypnosis a tool automatically generates signal files now when an uh, user gives an input that input is passed and is converted into a play sequence that is given to the avatar controller now avatar controller queries for the signal file uh, corresponding to every word that is to be played then based upon that signal file the animation server generates the frames that are to be played which are returned to the avatar controller and these frames are then given to the avatar player which are played by the avatar let's play this sentence are you hungry so down here we can see that uh, the sentence are you hungry is paused and converted into a play sequence of you hungry and then uh, the sign of you and hungry is played there are various uh, tools and techniques being used firstly we are passing the input secondly we are converting it into sign language then we are doing uh, animation frame generation and uh, there is also language vocabulary involved in the backend and uh, at last mo the most important part is the client side caching that we saw here uh, the signal caching this part is responsible for allowing the avatar to play the input in real time the backend uh, of the system is mostly written in python php and mysql the front end consists of javascript java html css and the avatar is uh, in made in a webgl i hope the presentation was informative for any kind of feedback or suggestion please feel free to write me at the given email id thank you